It's not a mirror ball up there. I kind of feel like Bob Ross right now, man. All right. We got that. And uh, let's slide another mirror ball. Let's take another copy and slide one over here and shrink it pretty small. Pretty small. There we go. Now we're getting a little, little party-ish going on right here now, all right? Maybe another one belongs down here. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but you know better. Okay, so I got a little something. Now let's go in here and let's add a little bit more things behind her. Let's pull out these speakers. Oh, that should have been PNG. I didn't do that right. Sorry, fam. So let's delete this. Here, let me make another copy. Create another layer. I'm gonna delete this layer. And I know I got I know I should be working with my shortcuts. One of my homies like shortcuts T shortcuts. You tripping. You still my homie though. I love him. That's my man's in them. Alright, so uh let's we copy that and then we'll paste it. Bam. And uh let's uh take her and drag behind Mary J. Boom. So we got a little something, something going on right there. Cool. It keeps it kind of busy, kind of animated. Let's do another one for symmetry. We copy that. We rotate it. Flip it horizontal. We slide it over here, maybe down here. We shrink it down and make it appear far in the back. Cool. Okay, now let's do the real deal. Let's go in here and pop some champagne bottles. Bow. Uh, keep doing this wrong, fam. These should be in PNGs. So uh, what I'm gonna do here? Let me let me shift select. Let me select all this. Let me invert it. Hold Control C for copy, and let me just paste this. Bam! Well, you paste it, and let's zoom in here and get rid of that. Wow! I just deleted that. All right. So now let's zoom this back out. Let's put the champagne bottle behind Madea. And uh, we'll put it kind of down here. And let's shrink it down a little. All right. Don't worry about her broke arms. We're going to fix that. Let's add another one for symmetry. So let's drag that down. And let's transform that. Flip it horizontal. Hold shift. Um, arrow. And now you can slide it down. <clears throat> now you can place this pretty much wherever you kind of feel it need to go. All right. So we pretty much got a got it kind of squared away, but it's some something that's missing, and that's greenage. Let's uh, go in here and get this palm leaf. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that, fam. I got to apologize. Um, let's see. Let me let me see if I could do something real quick. Remember that last tutorial I just showed you guys how we can um, extract a color. Oops, sorry about that. Let's try to do that real, real fast. You already familiar with how we get it done. Uh, we got a layer. Let's click that. Click solid color. And let's pick red. And let's go to our erase tool and go to background eraser. Make sure that's selected. Uh, discontinuous 100. Maybe we put it at 90 tolerance. And let's just see if we can briefly, briefly, briefly uh, get a quick extraction of this. Mm, so far, so good. Okay. So we got a nice little quick extraction. So if I hit that, we'll see that we pretty much erased everything. Hold Control and select the layer. Hold Control C to copy. Go over to Mary J and hit paste. And there we go. Good, good, good. All right. Oops, didn't mean to move that. All right, so let's put this. Let's put this up here, perhaps. Let's put that up here. Let's shrink it down a little. And something else I want to do is uh, probably, let's see. Let's adjust the levels on it. I'm going to adjust the levels. And now we got the levels. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Boom, boom. That's beautiful. And while we're there, let's make another copy and just kind of just drag it in another little location. Just kind of make things look a little busy. All right. All right. So far, so good. Um, 
Let's see. What else can we add to this? Ooh, dubs. Let's, let's drop some dubs in there. That's PNG'd out, so that's good. I ain't got to do no work, no additional work. We'll close that out. And uh, let's uh, kind of just, uh, let's put this kind of, maybe something like that. And let's make another copy. And maybe put them up here and turn it. Let's shrink it up a little. Boom. That's cool. All right, that's cool. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really necessary to put in there, but uh, you know, it's okay. It's fun. Here, let's let's do something. Let's do something with this uh, um, mirror bar real quick. I want to I want to pull it down here, but you know, I want to do something like colorize it. So let's go here. Let's go to saturation. We're gonna hit colorize, right? And now what we can do is turn up the saturation, and we can make that ball whatever color we want. And I want it red. Turn up the saturation more. So we got a nice little red ball uh -huh, to match with the red dress. And uh, let's, let's apply that. And then let's make another little one. And then we'll slide it over maybe, maybe over here and, um, you know, shrink it down a little. Boom. That looks nice. That looks nice. All right, fam. So it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, now it's time to... It's one more thing I want to add to this real quick before we do anything, fam. Let me first find out what Mary... I don't need to find out where she is. I'm going to make another layer. We're going to call this Splash. Boom. Now, for the record, fam, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not naming these layers because of the you know, time restraints, but you should name the layers. You should name them. So anyway, this one is called Splash. I'm going to go to my brush, and we're going to find the Splash brush. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. We're going to use this one, maybe. I'm going to use this. And what I suggest you do is get you like a maybe a grayish. We're not really sure. We're going to see. Put the gray there. Put the Splash. Nope, that's not working. So let me undo that. Let me see. What are we doing wrong here? Oh, I know what we're doing wrong. All right. First of all, this have to be above. This should be above a lot of things. Above the ball. Okay. So now we have the splash, right? Uh, let's put another one over here. Here, let me undo that. Let me make another layer, and we'll hit another splash here. That's good. And we'll take, we'll turn that layer, we'll shrink it. Now we want to be sure that people understand that this is fluid, right? So to do that, what I like to do, and there's a, there's a lot of different ways to do it, fam, but I like to do it like this. Make another layer, and then what we're going to do is tint. We're going to tint this layer, fam. So I forget where I found my tint. Oh, it's not going to tint because it's all white. Sorry about that. You know, now that I look at it a little bit, it looks like it's okay. So I'll tell you what. We'll keep what we got here. Shrink it down a little. And maybe put this flash over here. Now, we don't want to show that bottom, so we'll put a little curve to it. That's cool. And let's see. Let's fade uh that little bottom in so that won't be so right in their face and we do the same thing with this here water splash here and see see fam see how I lost my water splash that's the reason why it's good if you there we go splash that's why it's good if you uh <laughs> you know you name it all right so 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 far so good, right? Well, let me see something real quick. Is it bevel? That 
that could be cool. And drop shadow? No, not necessarily. But that bevel. Yeah, let's kind of mess around with that bevel a little. And we'll give it a realistic type of little bit of little bit of 